Right, full disclaimer, this is my favourite van we've ever done. In my opinion, this is the perfect day van slash basic kind of camper setup if you don't have children or you don't need to carry passengers in the back. So when I sat down with Craig and Jazz and we kind of worked out what they wanted out of a van, they put their ideas, I kind of gave them some ideas and backwards and forwards and this is the result which I'm going to show you now. But since doing this, everybody here is like, I love that van. Yeah, I wouldn't change anything about that van. The combination of what they wanted and what we've put together seems to work perfectly. I think this is like the ultimate day van. So I sat down and chatted with my wife about this afterwards and showed her and she, I said like, you know, when the children fly the nest, this is what I'm gonna build for us to use. If you're just two people and a couple of dogs, like I would be if I didn't have the children around and like Craig and Jazz are, this, in my opinion, is the perfect setup. So I'm gonna run you through, show you a few tweaks we've done, show you the glamorous sparkly headlining that you might have seen on our social media and a few other things that might, you might not have seen been done before and just a few things that are different to a regular build but it works for what they want to do and I think it would work for a lot of people than your standard kind of camper with a rock and roll bit in the back if you don't need it I think this is a best setup so anyway I'm going to take you in closer show you what we've done and then let us know what you think so if you've seen the previous videos you'll know what we started with we started with a flannel grey 150 DSG start line start line because when we chatted with Craig and Jazz they kind of like the commercial bumper look and we've added that detail of going with the, the arch trims which is a more recent addition and the off-roady style tires we've lifted it up actually from the original videos to just give a bit more ground, ground clearance for what they want to use it for make it a little bit more practical still still lowish you're going to eliminate that body roll and that swaying because it's gone a bit lower but we've gone for the big knobbly tires the 17 inch wheels and the arch trims just to give it that kind of aggressive look added the hustle and hq branding on the front there sun strip on the top there we're both branding on and i just think it looks the part i've said it a million times but i absolutely love this color my favorite volkswagen color ever flannel gray so yeah there we go outside added a few bits of detail in like the sequential indicators the awning you'll see there which we've shown you previously right so let's show you a few alterations we've made since the last time so first thing that's we'll see at the front here is the e-grill so how smart's that nicely hidden electric hookup point so no normally on these you see electric hookup point on the side of the van which i hate i think it really takes away from the look on the earlier vehicles t5s and t6s we used to always hide them underneath the back of the rear bumper the problem with that on a t6.1 is they have loads more really thick and deep engine under trays so there's nowhere to put it so the other alternative you see is a lot of people have a charging point under the bonnet but you have to have the bonnet raised up to do that then you have a cable dragging down your bodywork if you're doing it that way whereas with these e-grills it's hidden really nicely looks fancy hidden away you wouldn't know it's there clicks and locks shut i just think that's a great addition and a really nice smart way i mean i love a bit of tech in a van anyway but i think that's brilliant so moving inside Interior wise, you've seen this before, but we ordered factory DSG, twin swivel seats. We had all the seats retrimmed, gone for the, kept the OEM fabric on the outside and then went for the uh, Dynamica finish on the inside with the ribs to kind of give it that car caravel finished vibe. Carpet lined the, the, t the top there just to give the dark theme throughout and added the uh, Alpine speaker setup. We are actually gonna have this back in a few months to do a few alterations, and one of them is add the Alpine sub system to go under the seat. So in the bottom there also, you've got the diesel heater, so it's a even spatch of diesel heater, inlets in the side there and outlets just there. So taking you into the back. So as I said, we discussed this with Jazz and Craig and what they wanted to try and do was create a space that was comfortable and luxury to sit down and chill in and, and uh, sit and watch a movie and it for it to be a bed and this setup is the u-shape setup that a, a company called van furniture do i really like the way this is finished we went with the darker gray and the birch ply that you varnish up to give it a nice edge so you're really kind of bringing that woodwork out we went with the oak veneer floor just to kind of give it that keep the continue of the oak finish with the oak tops right the way through and I think that just looks really smart and I think it's just really usable so these all fold down which we'll show you and once that folded down you've got your bed you've got bags of storage cupboards in here cupboards in here iPad sitting there which we'll show you shortly and then the fridge so your standard fridge like you would have in any camper but this is a new one that we've got come in and the beauty of this one is it opens and hinges both ways so one way another way and you can also pull both hinges and pull the door completely off and the beauty of that is it's easy to get your fridge compartment your, your freezer door out to make it into a bigger fridge, fridge section than you want to these fridges are going to be with us in a couple of weeks actually but they've got um, an LG 
uh, compressors in them, so a real high-end quality fridge, but I think they just finish it off really nicely. But same uh, dimensions as your CRX50, which is your standard fridge you would see in most campers, but uh, just another alternative to offer the market, and they're going to be really competitively priced as well. So inside-wise, again, so we added the man shades for the complete privacy and the blackout on the inside. Hustle brand on the back window there, and then the headline in. So anybody that's seen us working on this headline in, and has asked us about doing one for them or commenting on it. So let me go around the back and show you it in full. Right, so around the back here, so you'll see the headline in there. We finished it with Dynamica, which is Alcantara type fabric, but real high end, good quality stuff. It's the same stuff that Porsche and Range Rover use for their seats and finishing. It's the same, as, same color on the seats as we've put on the ceiling. And then we've gone for the full halo system with the seamless LED, so the LED bar that goes around here, a lot of times you see them and you can see the individual LED dots, but this is like a higher end tape that's a solid LED, so you, get, you don't get the individual dot in. And then these little small, neat recessed LEDs, so these work off the doors, so they've replaced your lights that are on the inside when you open the door. You open the door and those things come on, and then the LED itself, the strip tape, works on a switch just on the corner there to illuminate the van when you're in it. And then the nice touch that we've added is this. So this is the Twinkling Star headline and this was something that we discussed with Jazz and she was really keen for us to do. And I think when I first agreed to do it, didn't quite realise how much time it was going to take us to do it and do it properly. So we didn't video us doing this and the reason being is it took 55 hours to do. That's 55 man hours of individually drilling all these little holes. Now I've seen a few people do this and there's not as many holes and they're not and they're kind of all set out because they're drilled by a machine. But what we did with this one is we used a bag of couscous. So garlic infused actually. So hopefully it doesn't smell. Sprinkle a bag, drop a bag of couscous in it where the individual grains land, that's where you drill a hole. And the reason being is it makes it more like the stars and not so regimented and set out in the, in the way you would expect if it's drilled by a CNC machine. And then to add into there, we added the meteorite or the shooting star, which you can see shooting across the ceiling. So with this remote here, it gives you the ability to change all those settings, change the colors, change how fast they twinkle, change how fast the meteorite goes across the ceiling there but it just means that when you're lying down here, chilling at, at night, looking up, you feel like you're looking up at the stars and it just gives it that real luxury finish. Like, I mean, the, the idea I think came from Rolls Royces, I think that's, and they did it. So but yeah, that's, that's a must have if I was doing a van for me, albeit 55 hours all of the work to get it right and do it that well. But that really finishes it off for me. I think it really makes the van look spot on. So going back to what we've done on the inside. So while we're at the back here, let's show you what we've got here. So the van furniture U-shape setup, these obviously all fold down and become your, your bed section, which I'll show you shortly. And in the back here, instead of going for your regular camper setup, but still wanting to be able to cook, and Jazz and Craig were keen not to be cooking inside and having the smell of stuff inside. So what we've done is we've added underslung LPG. So there's a, there's a tank just under there, a filling point just on the corner there, and then the outlet for it is just here. So then, Inside, Blake has added, added just a nice piece of oak on a pull-out tray with a Kadak just here. This connects up to here, this case connects up to here, and there you go, you're cooking your bacon, stinking outside, underneath your tailgate instead of making the inside smell. This is a great little double burner, uh, double burner hob. I'm really impressed with this one. I was looking around for something that would suit, that was neat and tidy and didn't take up too much space, but it comes in the bag with a couple of extra plates that you can put on there to make it a griddle and, as opposed to just using it as a gas hob. But it was really nice and neat and narrow. So it allowed us to make a really shallow tray to maximize storage underneath still. You know, not take up too much room. So you can access all these cupboard spaces from the inside and on the outside. So then moving inside, so what are we do for power for? So the, the brief was for Craig was Jazz and Craig are into CrossFit. They travel around the countries, they want to go and visit other CrossFit boxes and they want to work out there and film stuff and then stop in the van. So what we wanted to do was give them something that they could use on the go, still charge laptops, um, still be able to charge their phones, still be able to sit at night and watch a movie. Um, and be either connected to the electricity in, a, in the car park of the box or at a campsite, however they choose to use it. So, so with this, with the uh, electric hookup system in the back here, I'll show you, it charges one of these. There we go, so that's a vehicle power hub. 
So that basically means it's a 1500 watt hour lithium battery. So the reason why we chose this setup is this is a great bit of kit. Actually really impressed with it. Well worth looking up if you're going to um, setting up yourself or building build a camper build. They're not cheap, but actually when you add up the time and stuff involved it would take you to build it and how easy they are to install and the fact that they come with everything it is a great uh, option. So we have here uh, yeah the 1500 so basically this is um, th the beauty with these lithium ion batteries is you can these will do 2000 plus cycles they've got a built-in split charge system so in there you've got a built-in split charge that will charge this battery from empty to full in four hours off your alternator and if you plug it into the mains off the mains hookup you'll charge it from empty to full in three hours so it, with this here we've got here we've got the inverter, that's a 700 watt inverter. So to give you a rough idea, so that can uh, pull 700 watts. So a, a, your average laptop 65 watts. So in theory, you could put a four way on there and charge all your laptops and cameras with no trouble at all, all drawing off this lithium battery without the need to have it on an electric hookup. But obviously when you are on an electric hookup, it's gonna constantly be charging it anyway. But we decided to go for this because Craig wanted to be able to charge cameras, laptops, you know, phones, tablets, and everything on the go while they're in here. and the Usuals, you know run a coffee machine and stuff if they need to and that's more than capable of doing it so this thing here just to give you a rough idea that empty so, so if that was full you could charge a laptop non-stop for 25 hours and it would have no trouble at all with doing that and you can with this the beauty with these things is you can easily add solar um, they're just they're set up ready to go you've got a few extra ports here you know a few usb charging ports if you wanted to it's all there ready to go so the way we've got this set up plugged into a socket just here which is running off the e-grill at the front to charge it from the mains hookup your inverter here to plug your laptop into and then if you want to keep it all nice and tidy you can close this cupboard uh, and then the inverter can come out of this little socket here just so you've got yeah, so you, your power supply can come out of this little socket here so you've not got cables everywhere while we're on the back here you'll see this is your guide to show you how much uh, fuel um, LPGs in there so like I said we decided to opt for the underslung LPG on this just to eliminate the the need for a, a gas locker and taking up space so they've got maximum storage and then obviously you've got your either spatch of diesel heater so they can sit here at night even in the cold put the heater on and still be nice and toasty and warm while looking up at this beautiful twinkling star headlining so the other little thing that I love to put in everything that I have of my own is one of these a little rock mini tablet mount so hidden here under this nice little transporter HQ cap you connect this up take your iPad crank that up you can lie back here pick your favorite Netflix program chill and watch a movie these things are great as well you've probably seen us talk about these before but I have one of these in the back of my van for when the children are sitting here traveling they're really secure they're not going anywhere um, great way for the children to have some entertainment while you're traveling along and just super easy to store away once you finish with it you take the iPad out pop the clip on the back there and put your nice little clip cover in just so you've not got the underneath of it showing and that's it done so as I mentioned before with this van furniture set up there's loads of storage so in there we've got all the cables and electrics and remotes and stuff your power packs in there still with plenty of room room on the shelf up there for storing iPads and stuff like that so all these cupboards can be accessed from every section loads of storage in them all I just think it's a really practical usable setup you can just access everything that you need to from from every angle and then you've got your table to tucked down the side here so you can sit charge laptops eat your dinner do what you want connect it up to the side there and then it tucks away nice and neatly down the side so when you want to set it up as a bed move the cushions over fold the bed out put the cushions back down and there you go it's ready to sleep on and the finishing touch so once you're all set up for the night and you want to pitch black we've got one of these so this is a fuel lagoon fuel wrap um, this is a fuel lagoon screen wrap we've gone for this one with transport hq and hustle branding just wraps around the front of the screen here. It just makes it nice and pitch black inside. It looks smart with a bit of branding as always too. So that's it, that's that video done. I really like this setup as I've said before, and uh, I can definitely see myself having a van just like this in the future. This is just great, I love this headlining. A lot of work and hours gone into it. So 
Jazz and Craig are coming to collect this later. Go over and follow their channel. Go and follow Team Richie on YouTube. I'll put a link below because they'll be using this regularly for their box tours and you'll get to see it in action. We're going to get this thing back actually in a few months because a couple of other things that I'd like to add to it. Like I mentioned before, we've got the sub that's going to go in the front that connects up with Alpine speakers that are already in it. We also would like to add uh, an underslung water tank and Jazz and Craig would like to be able to wash the dogs down before they get in the van. Um, underslung water tank that we're going to be putting in this um, and also we have a really clever shower system that uh, is in there but I want to try it out before I put it in one of these. Please do like and subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications when more videos come out. Liking that video is important, the more people that like it the more YouTube show it to people. So any questions about this build please feel free to comment below, we do our best to try and answer as many questions as we can. I'll put links in the video below to all the bits that we did with the headline and where we got the equipment from. The fiber optics is just um, Amazon. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link it all below. Go and follow Craig and Jazz's channel and you'll see uh, this thing in use. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.